Hey, it's Anita. So I'm here at Koholin, 6183 Koholin. So I'm gonna take you on a little tour of this one. Um, now location wise, I'm gonna show you where we are. Kind of like right at the corner across from a dental office. This is a convenience store that has been closed for a while now, um, but we're right at the corner. Other than that, double wide driveway, nicely sided. The ramp I thought would be good for the dogs, right? There is uh, a backyard I'll show you and a garage. So I just use the garage door opener and use and you open that. So it's kind of a little strange because the garage, which nicely sided, has a side garage and then it's got like a little patio area over here. So I don't know, like, could you put your patio furniture in here and stuff? There's an electrical box, the whole deal. I don't know. I don't know if you have any toys. So the garage is kind of a... Uh, it's like a concrete, but it's kind of broken up floor here. Just a wood garage. There is electrical out here. A fan. Looks like somebody was handy, so they worked out here. And then this side, which is the little push out, is like another area that you could use. I don't know if they had chickens or something. That looks like a chicken light to me, but anyways. Um, yeah, so that's the, the garage. I'm going to close this up. There's a little lip there when you go in. So close that. You could park maybe like a smaller vehicle in there, but I don't think you'd get um, a uh, like a truck or anything like that. All right, so go up this ramp here. I already had a peek around inside, so I got the lay of the land. Nice screen door and metal door here. Just um, laminate tile, but the place is all hardwood, gleaming hardwood. So this would be your living room area, big bay window. It's kind of wonky, they, have, they put the lights like in little sconces in four corners. And they're on dimmers, so they go on and down and everything. So it's kind of interesting. It's a big space though, definitely you could put lots of furniture in here. All right, your coat closet when you walk in. And I'm gonna take you down the bedroom wing. So this is the bathroom, they like wood here. So bathroom, it's all kind of wood paneling. And they have one of those uh, shower tubs you don't have to take a tub in it. You can just take a shower in it, but it's got like a little seat yeah, and it's, it's tiled. This is just wallboard. You can see that better there. And then toilet. And then this is just laminate tile as well as well on the floor. Looks like it was probably an older person's house. Lots of handrails, grass rails. This bedroom, gleaming floor again. Nice big window. This would be a beautiful dining room, to be honest. I could put, I would put my dining room table in here. Another closet. Yeah, it's a nice space. The ceiling's got that little bit of beveling. The light, really bright. Yeah. Uh, bedroom number two on this floor. Once again, closet. Nice big window. Windows are okay. We'll do for a little bit. And bedroom number three. Once again, nice big window. Fairly good sized rooms, right? So the floor has all been redone. Maybe not the light fixture. That's the crawl space to the attic. And this is your linen closet here. And we'll meander down. So we're going back down towards the front door. There's the living room over here. Front door to the kitchen. So this is actually like tiled. You know, there's just those sheets of tile, but it's tiled all the way around. So fridge, older kitchen cabinets, right? Newer, you know, put some new sandals on there. 
Like, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of the black, but it's just a black piece of wood. This is a laminate product on the floor here. That's probably tile at some point. Stove and then washer dryer. Now here's the test. So let's see if I can open this oven door without hitting the thing. No. So that needs to be moved or configured because you have to be able to open the oven door. I don't know. I don't know what people think. But yes, but washer and dryer hookups are right here. So that's always good. And then we're going to, I'm going to put this back so I don't forget it. And then we're going to meander downstairs. So back entrance from the back deck. So this is all like a, a laminate product down here. No handrail. So bedroom number one. Little kind of a closet. Oh, that's under the stairs. Yeah. But big egress window, which is always very nice. Your utility closet. Furnace is old as dirt. Uh, 2003. Hot water tank is a rental. Can't even see the date on it. September. I don't think there's a date on it. But it is a rental, so it doesn't matter. You can always get a new one. Kitchen. Kitchen area has like a little island. Movable. Here's your electrical panel. The stir, they have a surge protection on it. Looks like it's been updated. Mm -mm. Trying to see wires. Mm. What's that? So a little window in here as well. And then from here they've tucked in a little washer dryer room. So a full-size washer dryer down here and a sink, which I always like. And then we'll meander down to the bathroom and bedrooms and living room area. So now this could be set up any way you want. So we have a nice bathroom here. The big window that opens, jacuzzi tub, cocky needs to be redone. But it's all tiled, like it's all hard. They've got one of those fancy curtain rods that comes out so you don't feel like you're trapped in there. And overall, the height of the ceiling is, you know, probably eight feet. It's a good height. So then this would be, I guess, your living room area. No window, just in the middle of the, the house. Bedroom. So once again, an okay size bedroom, really nice big window though, and a little closet here. Right, AC vents, smoke detectors wired in, hardwired. And then we go down this little hall here. There's a little pot light here, I didn't know. Pot light. There's a closet. Right, and then this room, Technically a bedroom, I guess. Well, the windows are egress. There's two windows. But I, you could use this as your living room. And then it has a door to the bathroom. So it could be like an ensuite privilege. If this was like a bedroom. What oh, is the slide very nice. Oh, there. Oh, there it goes. It's not bad. It's just a little sticky. So ensuite privilege to the, the bathroom. Or this could be your rec room. Or like, you know. Uh, your son's living space. Right. So overall down here, it's not bad really considering basement, bungalow, bathroom's quite large. Like you can put a little storage cabinet over there. Kind of like what they have here. Not bad over.
overall. So let's go see the backyard. Stairs are kind of short like, you know, for your foot to fit on. Oh. So I'm just checking the door to get it open. Apparently it's not opening. Anyways, so just a little deck with probably five or six stairs, but you know, I'm gonna go the other side. Let me close up here and take you out the side so you can see the backyard better. So this is going alongside, there's a little door into the garage. That's your bedroom there. That's that other wood room there. This is just like a catch-all space. The backyard, so you got a little shed back here. So the backyard needs some love. There's one tree here, a tree there, and a tree there. But overall, a good backyard space, right? So this is the back steps to the inside. So that would be the back door entrance. Now what you could do is you could extend this like over, make steps down, and then turn it and steps down. So it's like, you know, two steps, three steps instead of that, like that. So it'd be less steep. Or you could put a little ramp there, I guess, too, even. So that's the backyard. So the back of the house is the older siding. They didn't update the back. If we're meandering, we might as well meander on the whole house. AC unit looks a little bit newer than the furnace at least. Chimney looks fairly good. A couple of spots up there. I don't know if I can get my phone to go up that. Or the bricks starting to um, you know the mortar starting to go. So you know right like right there. Up there. Right here. I don't know if you can see it. Looks like it's been repointed at the top at some point. Yeah, so maybe a little bit of chimney work at some point. Big tree in your front yard too, which is always important to note. Kind of protects your window from the front. And then at the front they did the horizontal siding. Or vertical, sorry. So that wood underneath there would need to be kept up as well as, well as of course, the wood deck. Overall, not bad. Not bad property. Um, obviously, close walking distance to everything. The beer store, Shepherd's Drug Mart, Sobeys, everything's right here. Probably not the exact location you're looking for, but you know, that's my car. <laughs> so that's it. So 6183 Koholan. Let me know what you think.